Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add a lens flare in Adobe Premiere Pro. So we're basically going to be adding this right here, this flare. So before, without this, it looks a little something like so. It's just a mountain scene, and what we are doing is we are actually adding in the next part, which is that actual flare like that. So pretty simple to do. So let's get started. First thing you do is you import your footage like so. I have some footage from Envato Elements, which is a great subscription service where you can get an unlimited amount of stock footage. I found this really neat scene of uh, looks like a drone flying through the mountains. However, there is not that lens flare. You can kind of see there's a sun maybe somewhere in this direction. And so what we're going to do is we're going to re-add basically the sun into it. So we're going to go to our effects. We're going to search for lens flare. It's under video effects, generate lens flare. You can do this one of two ways, either to add it directly on the footage or to create a color mat, which is essentially a black video. So you can do that as well and then generate it on top of there. Benefits are on this one, it's stuck onto the footage itself. While if you put it onto a layer itself, like a black mat, then you have more control where you can turn it on and off and it doesn't, you know, sort of quote unquote degrade the footage. I'm going to throw it right on my footage though. So we generate, you can see we have the lens flare right here. So what we want to do is once you then move that lens flare somewhere. So for example, let's try a little harder one where we actually put it behind the tree. So we'll stick it right there. You see we have flare center, we have flare brightness, lens type, blend with original are our four options here. We want to turn on the flare center's animation and also the flare brightness. Now, when it's behind this tree, we want to make sure that it is basically very dim, sort of like that. We're then going to move forward and animate this. So we move forward a couple of frames. Keep going, actually. Now, as we come out on the other side, we want to start getting really bright. Whoops click the wrong button there. So maybe right about here, we're going to want it to start getting really bright. So we're going to go right to here, drop another keyframe so it doesn't gradually get lighter as it comes out. Go to here, and then we're going to bring that flare brightness back up to 100% and play the video. And you can see it's looking good. Right here, though, we should sort of add a little bit of uh, animation in there to make it look a little better. So as it gets there, maybe we um, bring up the brightness to like 45. We move forward a little more. And then as it goes behind this trunk right here, we bring it back down to almost zero. As it comes back to the other side, we bring it back up a little bit. And then now it should transition into the correct one, like so. So let's take a look at this now. There we go, that's looking pretty realistic, right? Uh, pretty good so far. Now, what we also wanna do is if we're gonna keep going, if you see as we go farther and farther, we're sort of moving this way on the clip. So we just wanna adjust the flare center ever so slightly from probably here onwards. So we're gonna make another keyframe. And we just wanna make sure that we are keeping the flare in generally the same place. So we're going to bring it just a little bit over to the edge here. And you'll see that actually starts moving this, and it looks sort of realistic in that regard as well. Maybe we want to zoom this in just, uh, maybe we actually want it to sort of slowly transition over as we start. And yeah, that's looking pretty good right there. You can kind of see the movement of the flare as it goes through. It looks like there's now a sun in this scene. It gives another 3D element that makes this look realistic and beautiful. That is it for this tutorial. If you want to see more tutorials like this and you want to learn Premiere Pro from scratch from this, from basically just tutorials, check out my course. I have made a course where you learn Premiere Pro by doing things. It's no longer where you just sort of like learn different little parts. You're gonna just generate effect after effect after effect and you'll learn Premiere Pro through that. So check out the link in the description for that. If you'd like to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make video on all Adobe content so you can become a creative master in the Adobe world. So go ahead and subscribe for that. Thanks everyone and until next time guys, see ya.